All right, guys. Um, I wanted to just take a second and make a quick video of my sloppy handwritten um, meal plan here, just so you can kind of see um, how I go about putting my meal plan together um, and making sure that I have a plan in hand for the week, because this is what I want all of you to do, too. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to sit down with um, your blank meal planner. You're going to sit down with your copy of the 10 Eat Clean Principles, which is in the files of our group, um, or the 21 Day Fix Meal Plan, whatever you're following. Um, and you're going to sit down with your family's calendar for the week. You need to take everything into account when you're um, meal planning. You don't want to just throw things out there for dinner that sound good. You need to figure out, oh, I'm, I have soccer and school and all these things at night, so I need something we can throw in the crock pot or something that I can put in a cooler to have sandwiches right after practice or between practices and whatnot. Um, this is about being forward thinking and planning ahead. So those are the three things you really need to have with you before you start meal planning. So this is my meal plan for the week. You can see I have notes. This is why I chose to show it to you this way and not typed up. Because I want to show you my notes here. You can see in blue it's things um, that I want to remember. Um, kids have gymnastics. My little guy, my oldest, starts kindergarten this week, so he has orientation um, on Tuesday morning, so I needed to keep that in mind. Um, and then my in-laws have invited us invited us over for scones. Um, so there's my treat for the week. Um, and I'll probably just have about half of one because I am in this challenge with you. Um, so you can also see up at the very top above the days of the week is my husband's um, work schedule. He works 12 hour night shifts. So um, he basically is gone the days that he works. So I need to know that because I need to know if I'm feeding him or if I'm just feeding myself and the four kids. Um, three kids because the youngest is just an infant. Um, but you can see that his work schedule is a little weird this week. He has a training day on Wednesday, which means he's working during the day. Um, and then he just has a seven hour day on Saturday. So he will be home for dinner. So I need to take those things into account. So um, let's go ahead and um, you can see a couple other things that I noted here is going grocery shopping. So I know that on Monday, we're not going to go grocery shopping until after breakfast. So I need to make sure that. Um, I have lunch stuff on hand already um, because nobody wants to cook when they come home from grocery shopping, right? Um, and then my son's first day of school, things like that. Sundays are different for us because we're at church all, mo all morning, so we have to do things differently. So let me just take you through this. So for breakfast, I like to go with um, protein and complex carbohydrates. So for me right now, I'm basically having eggs and toast or eggs and oatmeal every single morning, um, except for Sundays where I just grab yogurt and granola so I don't have to prep anything. Um, I am home with my kids, so I don't need something to just grab and go. That might be a good place, um, breakfast for some people, to grab um, a shake of some sort. I drink Shakeology for lunch, um, but that might be a better place for you there. Or there's some really great, um, there's a, Kashi has a cereal Man, I can't remember what it's called right now, but it has a lot of protein in it that I think is okay. Um, yogurt's a really great choice for um, for breakfast, but just trying to get a little bit of both that, you know, complex carbohydrate and protein in the morning. Um, snack in the morning happens at about 10 o'clock. Um, I'm nursing, so I have to keep my fat content up pretty high. So right now in the mornings, I'm having a 2% um, fat yogurt with a little bit of granola. Um, my kids are just having fruit, um, that's why there's two snacks written there. Um, and then lunch, like I said, I have Shakeology every day for lunch. Um, that's when my day gets really busy because, I, like I said, I have four kids um, ages five and – oh, I guess he's almost six – six and under, um, and so they're home with me. And so I'm making them lunch, and that's also when I prep dinner is at lunchtime, and so I'm busy. I can't sit down and eat. Um, so just being able to make a shake and I throw spinach into it to get some extra greens works really well for me, but I do plan in there what I feed the kids. Um, so we kind of just rotate through lunches for them, PB and J, um, we do turkey wraps, English muffin pizzas, and I make a ton of English muffin pizzas and then, um, pop them in the freezer. So I only have to make them like once every three weeks. Um, and we just rotate through there so that I'm, that makes shopping easy, not trying to have something different every single day. Um, for um, afternoon snack, again, going with protein and complex carbs, Triscuits and cheese, or I really like fruit and cashews. Um, 
like strawberries and cashews are a really great uh, combination, but just some sort of um, nut and fruits. I think those are really, really great snacks. My biggest tip with snacks is to stick with whole foods, fruits, nuts, vegetables, um, yogurt, you know, things like that that aren't packaged or processed. I think a lot of times when we think snacks, we think chips and crackers. Um, and pretzels and all those things, but I really want to encourage you during this five day um, this five day challenge to stay away from that stuff, to stick with more whole foods, especially for your snacks. Um, okay, so dinner, and I'm going to be sharing my dinner recipes each evening when I make them. So um, um, chicken and quinoa wraps is what we're having on Monday night, and that's something that is from the Fixate cookbook that I've been using, and she actually does it in um, stuffed bell peppers, but we're going to try the mixture in just like lettuce wraps and then, then tortillas for the kids just to try something different. Um, meatballs and zoodles, <laughs> which are um, just noodles made out of zucchini. My kids really like them, but don't feel bad about eating pasta. Pasta is okay as long as you're not eating a ton of it and really try to go with a, with a whole wheat pasta. Um, Tacos, easy peasy, and then we go with leftovers. Definitely plan in a leftover night so that you're not cooking every single night and also so that you don't waste food. That's the budget saver again right there. And you'll see that I plan that leftover night on the first night that my husband's working because he's gone. So it's easy to just pack him up leftovers and then the kids and I too so I'm not cooking on a night that he's not there. Um, the next night that it's just me and the kids, we go with something easy again. We also have gymnastics at 6 p.m., so I don't want to make a big mess in the kitchen. Um, so I'm just doing tuna salad with them. And we do, you know, celery in there and broccoli and whatnot, and they really like that. Um, and then Saturday night, since he has a seven-hour, he'll be home. I normally do some sort of, um, like, pasta and chicken with the kids. But since he'll be home, we're going to do a cilantro lime steak, really easy, and zucchini. And then every Sunday night, we have banana pancakes and eggs. Um, and then I make a double batch of those banana pancakes and freeze them, and then we pop them into the toaster throughout the next week. Um, we don't have any in the freezer right now, which is why they're not on my breakfast um, schedule for this week. But anyway, as you can see, we take everything into consideration. Hopefully that was kind of helpful. If you have questions on any of this or if you um, – need ideas for dinners and stuff like that, I am more than willing to get on a, on a web chat or a phone call or even just a Facebook chat with each of you and just kind of help you figure this out and get a plan in hand before Monday starts. All right, we will talk to you guys later.